good morning it is friday just getting ready so i can get some video clips and whatever and um you know feel good about the day another beautiful sunny day here in los angeles we went on a walk to the beach yesterday and it was so nice i really it's not like that hot where you could lay out at the beach but it's still like when the sun hits you it feels really good like i really want to go to the beach and just like read or something not today but like sometime this weekend just sounds really nice take advantage of being by the beach mm, that's my hair it's okay all right this side also yesterday walked 17,000 steps we went on a long walk i'm actually trying to go on walks more it just makes you feel so good i feel like i come up with ideas for videos and stuff when i go on a walk especially when it's nice out like this it's nice listen to a podcast just kind of do whatever i feel like walking is just so good for you like physically and mentally we all need to do it more i wish i had a dog to walk but um not now not now okay i'm taking a thumbnail photo but i need to clean up the background okie dokie sam's time in la has come to an end time to go back how'd you like it this time it was good it was all right yeah Normally an LA hater. I'm not a hater. No, it, it has its perks. It has its disadvantages. For me, the cons outweigh the pros, but I, that's just me. I almost wish I hadn't have like left and gone to New York for a month because now I feel like LA in my mind is like, it, it honestly feels worse than I thought it was before, you know? Like it's almost better if you're here, don't leave because you're gonna start finding places that are, or do leave, but I don't know. Anyway, let's just, go. That just means that you were fixated on the idea of it and then you realize you really didn't like it. Literally, that is what it is. I want to like it so bad. I want it to be I this- I love the idea of it. I want it to be this idea. I have of it in my head and then it's just like everything's a hassle and- I was promised all of my life that this was a luxurious land. You know, they always came here from American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up- <laughs> That's the idea. Hollywood. Yeah. I wanted to quickly thank Hirect, a really cool company for sponsoring this vlog. And I think you guys actually would really be interested in this company. So Hirect is a hiring app that allows you to chat directly with founders of companies, CEOs, and hiring managers. So you create one single profile to match with dozens of jobs through their AI technology. So you can filter your job search for desired location, remote versus in-person work, and salary range. Also something really cool, Hirect requires all the companies to disclose the salary as you're applying. They say that this app makes the process of finding a job 10 times faster. And of course, the really nice thing is it's 100% free for anyone that's like searching for a job. Also, all the companies and jobs are 100% verified, so you know there's no scams on there. I kind of went through and filled out if I was looking for a job, what's available, and there's actually like some good jobs out there. It's really cool, so I can click on this and I can just like go and start chatting with them and send them a message. Like how cool is that? They automatically had it say, I'm interested in the position, can we schedule a meeting? Like they really make this so much easier to find a job. Like you don't even have to think of what to type out <laughs> and that that's amazing. This I think is great if you're looking for a job, if you're looking to change jobs or if your job is making you go back into the office but you still wanna do remote work, check this out because they make it easier to filter through that. I just. I think it's a very cool app. I feel like I have my hands full with YouTube, but I think you guys should check it out if you're looking for a job. So I do need to crank out some editing of this video. I've just been having the hardest time getting myself to edit it, partly because my computer is just being very slow with the Sony footage. Okay, obnoxious car. So I don't know. I feel like that's most of my motivation as I can't get into that flow because I just get interrupted with the rainbow spinny wheel thing and Maybe I need a new laptop. Maybe I need to like figure out something with that footage. I don't, I don't know for sure. But I have a call in about an hour that I'm really excited for and I'm sure I'll talk about later in a different vlog. Yeah, anyway, back to working on stuff. Back at my desk. Let's do this. I know getting started is the hardest part of basically anything and you just got to dive in. I really want to procrastinate right now, but we're gonna do it. Okay. While you're traveling. 
just had a call got some editing done i'm really like behind on this video but i can do some of it tomorrow anyway yeah this call i feel like i don't want to put what it's about in this video yet but all i'll say is real estate future airbnb stuff and i feel good about it so i'll reveal soon not to be so so like that youtuber that's like being all vague and whatever but yeah okay let's go hello all right I am back. I just got coffee with a photographer here that I knew from Seattle and um, we we're just like catching up. Sam's flight got canceled so he's heading back here and I'm gonna go out tonight. Should be a fun time with some friends but I'm just sitting here thinking really trying to pay attention to how I feel here in this city each city that I'm in. I did the same thing when I was in New York and not try, I'm not trying to like judge LA too harshly. I know a lot of people love it and I did for a long time, but I'm just noticing I just find myself so tired here. And it's weird because I love the sunlight. I love the weather. And I really just think it's the driving. I think it's just always having to get in your car and everywhere kind of feeling far away. Like me and Sam were talking about it and I'm like, I think I really just do like the idea of LA better then I actually like the reality of it because you know that's kind of why I wanted to come back here I was like oh it'll be warm and like can see friends and whatever oh I need to charge this camera but I don't know what it is I just am not feeling that motivated but I want it to work like I want to love it I want to feel good here but like I don't know why force it I mean I've only been here for like a week and it's not like I'm really in my home I'm in an Airbnb and I don't know it just I'm kind of glad I came back here because it is giving me even more clarity of I can leave and I don't think I'm gonna miss it like I think I'll miss like a handful of friends but I can still see them from time to time and I just yeah I don't know I think I'm kind of over the lifestyle here <sighs> getting out was good though like getting out for some time I think was definitely good at first I was kind of regretting even getting this place here but now I am though kind of like no I'm glad I did it so I can feel like whatever I can make the best of the next few weeks but then I can I can leave and truly feel like it was the right decision and if I start having ideas that this place is better than it is just kind of remember how it is it truly is a thing of like the way that the city is laid out just like annoys me <laughs> and there are places where it's just easier to get around yeah anyway charge this Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I just went on a lovely little walk through the neighborhood. I just love going on walks here because it's just perfect weather. Love it. Got a breakfast burrito. Oh, I'm feeling tired today because we went out last night and um, mm, yeah, just need to rest. Saturdays are for getting your life together during the day, for me at least. Want to do laundry. I have been saying I'm gonna get my car washed for so long. Just little tasks like that. Maybe like a easy-ish workout. Take care of myself kind of day. All right. I grabbed some stuff I needed at Target and um, washed my hair and everything. It's been kind of a slow Saturday because yeah, I stayed up till like 3 a.m. and I can't sleep in. I, I just am not very good at it. So I'm tired, but I'm gonna go on a walk with my friend Sarah, who I have not seen yet since I've been here. I'm trying to, I think I'm gonna do a video where I try walking 10,000 steps a day and see how it changes my life. I mean, it sounds like not that big of a thing, but walking i feel like it's just so good for you i love it like that was like the one thing i realized when i was in new york i loved walking everywhere and so this airbnb i got is in a pretty walkable area so i just love that i can walk all the time it's just nice i don't really like having to drive obviously it's a good option but i love when you can just walk or hop on a train or whatever and like just find it to be way more fun all right let's go on a walk all right classic me got no footage on that walk but whatever making a frozen pizza i am so tired whoa this frozen pizza looks really good boom all right going to meet some friends at a bar but i do not want to stay out too late it's actually it's not even 9 p.m and i definitely am not trying to get crazy so 
yeah, I just want to be a little bit social while I'm here in LA, even though it's like, you know, more of an effort. I almost didn't, I'm not gonna lie, because I was like, ugh, getting an Uber, this and that. But I don't know, I have the energy right now, so why the heck not? Honestly, does anyone else feel like scarred by COVID? Like, I remember thinking, oh, 12 minutes away, okay. I remember thinking when everything locked down, I was like, dang, I wish I would have like gone out that last chance I had instead of, I remember I could have, and then I. I just was like, eh, I don't really want to. Yeah, now I'm just like, well, I want to live my life more. Wow, the steam. Oh, yum. Not the cutest omelet, but oh, it looks tasty. <coughs> Mm, mm, mm. This is going to be a partial clean with me vlog. I definitely have let this place glow, go a little bit and it's driving me crazy. So let's clean and then I'll go on my walk. I also need to do laundry. Just like have a, like a full on like maintenance day. I just came back from my walk. It was super nice, so nice out. I didn't even need a jacket and I got the most delicious salad. Just feeling very good after that. I'm doing laundry and this Airbnb, you have to like pay for the laundry with quarters, which I'm like, okay, for the price of this Airbnb, seriously, like I feel like they should just make it free because this Airbnb was not cheap, but also whatever, I get it. Maybe the area, maybe their expenses, I don't really know, but I guess it's not that big of a deal to pay. It's just like a bit of a hassle because you have to get quarters so I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I never have quarters anymore So I had to like get cash out and then buy something. And yeah, anywho back to cleaning I was just watching some thrift flip YouTube videos and it really inspired me to go To thrift stores around here and see what they've got. I've been parking on the street No permit for over a week now and I still haven't gotten a ticket I don't think that they check this street which is great because my car did not fit in the garage here Okay, first up we're gonna check out the Goodwill here all right, let's go in and see if there's anything that we can make look cool. Okay, I just dropped my car off at a car wash. They said it'll be about 40 minutes. So ordinarily I would just sit there and go on my phone, but since I'm doing this walking challenge, I'm going on a walk and I can actually walk to the beach from here. So I'm gonna do that. It's kind of funny, this dance place is right by where I used to live. I'm like right by that old house in West Hollywood. That's where I lived before. I'm sure I've said it in a vlog, but there was like a lot of crime over here, actually. Yeah, our ring camera caught people getting like watches stolen, iPhones stolen like out of their hands, shopping bags. There were like a couple times that the road was closed because like there was more like violence. Yeah. So I kind of knew that before. That was like part of the reason I kind of wanted to move out of this area was like, I wouldn't walk around at night here, honestly. Good morning, straight to editing this morning. I feel like I'm always wearing this sweater, but I traveled pretty light. I only brought one like sweater with me and this one's really comfy. So anyway, just editing currently. I'm working on my main channel video. <laughs> Don't mind the curtain. Then I'm gonna go work out for a bit. Okay, I just got back from the gym. I walked there and back. It was a very long excursion. It's part of a video that I'm doing. Now I gotta make a kind of uh, uncomfortable phone call, but it has to happen. I hate doing this shit. We'll feel better when it's done. And it's just like, like a business related thing actually. So let's do it. I'm not gonna record it. That'd be so weird, but yeah. Uh, that call went really, really well. So that's good. I was nervous, but you know, it's good and i am now getting ready for the day i'm in such a good mood right now from going on my walk and going to the gym and i feel like i know exactly kind of where this video i'm working on needs to go i definitely need to spend the next like five hours plugging away at it but yeah i just have a better idea of what i'm gonna do for my next like two to three videos so i'm be feeling better than i did last week last week i was like why am i doing here but it was kind of just weird to adjust to having like this much 
time spent alone like alone in the car well actually sam was here so i actually wasn't alone but like this weekend i was more so like i met up with some friends at points but like really just spent the majority of the day on my own because like even driving places doing errands like i had to go get my car washed and whatever and like relaxing i feel like i've gotten like bad at alone time and i used to be pretty good at it but it's important to be like content with your alone time and i'm like struggling with that working on that like you know finding little hobbies and things but yeah last week i was not in a good mood i was also just not that excited about the video i'm working on and now that i'm almost done i'm feeling just a lot more positive about it and like okay it's turning out good like i just do not want to work on it but like it's it's gonna be good this just happens from time to time so okay editing time so i have these areas where i have a voiceover but i actually decided i'm gonna do it as like a talking head so i know i'm gonna have a bunch more so i left my ignore my suitcase my tripod and camera there so i can go shoot them <laughs> as i think of them then at the end i'll import them all and it will just be a nice way to mix up the footage so it's not like all voiceover all talking head stuff I'm loving your decision on okay going to walk to get lunch i had the most delicious salad yesterday i'm gonna get the same one yeah i get my steps in some more of them not a ton probably half a mile gonna do some research while i eat this read through something i've been meaning to read through in the past i've tried to like edit while i eat it doesn't work you don't like you have to use two hands so it's like no mm -mm -mm. hyped for this all right, this is like the most boring part of editing. I'm just listening to music on Music Bad, Epidemic Sounds, all these, trying to find a good fit. It takes so much longer than you think it would. Just to find music that's gonna work and not sound like too corny or like just out of place. So let's give this a listen, shall we? Nope, nope. I like to add in like hip hop sometimes when I'm searching. Like if you put it in, if you check that as something that you're looking for, like it can just have a cool beat to it. I don't know, you don't want something like so dramatic would just feel like really weird for this. So let's see, genre, we'll do, let's see if there's anything good. I'll update you guys when I find a good one. I just hit export on this video, so it should be good to go. But I'm gonna curl my hair, get ready. I'm going to the screening tonight at a cool place. You're like not allowed to film there, so I won't vlog it, but they're showing the Kanye West documentary that like, it's already on Netflix, but they're showing it there. Like you get like a free drink and whatever. It's just like, a cool place and meeting up with my friend to get it get like happy hour before so that will be fun i'm gonna do my hair but yeah i won't be able to vlog that unfortunately and 